praise to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Another Sabbath day out in this field. Yeah, you recognize some, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Our praise to the most high power of Israel. Another Sabbath day, seventh day of the week. Right, sir. I heard scripts spitting. You know, we got a lot of, we got a lot of commands of God in our spirit, though. It's all about the inward man now. Yeah, let's grab, uh, let's start out Hebrews 8 and 8. Book of Hebrews. 8 and 8. Our praise to the Heavenly Father. Out of his own begotten son. Brother asked earlier, what are we? Yeah. What are we? Yeah. Ah, none of that. Oh, this is what he asked. Yeah, none of that. Right, right. Another false philosophy, Islam. Like Egyptology, like Christianity. Judaism. God never gave religion. He gave commandments. He told us to keep the commandments. To the cast of the crop. And we'll be seeing around, especially the most brothers who waking up in these last days. They they learning about these commandments of the most high. And they focus mainly outwardly and locking them in their spirit. And you, and you see, and you still, even if you put a garment on the growing period, you still see the old man remain. Same wicked mindset. Okay, but this is what we're banging for right here. Read that for me, bro. Hebrews 8 and 8. Hebrews 8 and 8. Yeah. So finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, uh -huh. when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel uh -huh. and with the house of Judah. See, so the new covenant is with who? The new covenant be made with the house of Israel uh -huh. and with the house of Judah. So the new covenant, I can say, I'm under the new covenant. Oh, brother, you talking old, huh? But well, the new covenant is with the same people the old ones with. A lot of people don't understand that. You think you're under the new covenant because you're in church on Sunday. False. The Bible don't say that. Because you go to church to mean you're under the new covenant. No. Don't say that. The new covenant is with the same people the old covenant was with. Read right. again. Verse 8 again. Hebrews, Hebrews 8 and 8. 8, 8. New Testament. For finding fault with them, uh -huh. he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant uh -huh. with the house of Israel yeah. and with the house of Judah. See that? That's the same people that he brought through the Red Sea through Moses, gave him the commandments, the house of Israel. So he said, look, the new covenant even is with them. So the preacher been lying to you, telling you you a Gentile. And then you say, well, brother, I'm under the new covenant. That's false. The new right. covenant is with the same people the old covenant was with. So, right. now, so the same people with the old covenant was with, now they got to accept their king, Christ. Because Christ was an Israelite. Right. He wasn't into these churches on Sunday and, and putting on suits and slick bottoms and selling bean pies and putting yonkers on his head. He wasn't doing none of that. Right. If you fear the Lord, you keep the rules. You keep the commandments of the Lord. That's what it comes down to. Not because you go to church on Sunday or you still stand on the corner and sell bean pies or none of that. That has nothing to do with this. Right. Come on, brother, let's get it. Verse 9. Yeah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their father right. in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. Because they continue not in my covenant. Because we continue not in the covenant that God gave us. All right, come on, Israel. And I regarded them not, said the Lord. Yeah. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. See, he keeps saying the house of Israel. And he's saying after those days. You ain't under the new covenant. You ain't talking what we finna read right now. Come on, brother. Said the Lord. Yeah. I will put my laws in their mind. No, religion in their mind. Laws into their mind. But, but what, what my mama said. My laws into their minds. Put my laws that. in their mind. I Come on, Israel. And write them yeah. in their hearts. And write them in their hearts. So the law of God will be in your mind and in your spirit. We focus it outwardly. Think because somebody got a slick bottom, some slick bottoms on and a suit that the Lord is dealing with. That ain't what the scripture say. The new covenant is the laws of God in your spirit, in your mind. So what? you ain't got to look at this and say, oh, I, I know I ain't going to sleep. I know I ain't going to be. I know I ain't going to be raped and robbed and murdered. Why? Because your conscience, your spirit know that. So that's what the new covenant is. It's the laws of the rules of God in your spirit. 
right. ain't about going to church on Sunday and giving this man all this money. It never was. Yeah. Never was. You feel me? He been pepping. Right. Look, he, he said you dope down there. On that corner, he said you hope. Just sell it. You was real, you'd have been out here hollering at the folk right here. So the new covenant for clarification is the laws of God in your spirit, in your mind, in your heart. And that's going to Israel. That's right. It just so happened, that's who we are. They've been telling us we Gentiles, black, African Americans. None of these are nationalities. This is what they call you. The nigga, the crip, the blood. That's what they call you. The Bible calls you Israel. The same nation that Jesus Christ was from. Same exact nation. And it shouldn't be that hard to tell. But it is today because we we, we, uh, we spend all our time giving our salvation over to men who pipping us. They passed they pass that collection plate around a hundred times in church. That's not in her. Right. Yeah, and you the children are passing around. That ain't what we reading in her. Come on, bro, let's get it. All right, brother, bless right, 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 right. Let's get it. And I will be to them a God. Yeah. And they shall be to me a people. Uh huh. Verse 11. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. So in that day, it ain't going to be no more of this. Those that are preserved and called in the Lord, we all going to know them in that day. Amongst the children of Israel, because we got a job to do. So we right. don't teach him or teach them. All right, come on, brother. For all shall know me. Uh huh. From the least to the greatest, uh -huh. for I will be merciful to the unrighteous. So I will be merciful to the. You got a question, sister? Um, you got a question? Yes. Go ahead. What, what religion? No religion. Grab it, grab it. Please, yes, it's twelve. Let's read it to you. Please, yes, it's twelve. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. No religion. No religion. Let me explain to you the box. Grab it, please, yes, it's twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. No religion. No religion. God never gave me religion. He gave commandments. He said, "If you love me, you can cheat." God said, "If you love me, you can cheat." Even Jesus in Matthew chapter 5, he talked to the minds of God. So you no religion. No religion. No God never, Christian. No, God no, never gave no. Christianity, Islam, Judaism. So what that. was uh Jesus? He grabbed he grabbed Hebrews chapter 14 when you read the uh, No, no, no. Because Christian means a follower of Christ. Okay. He didn't follow himself. Who is Christ? The Son of God. Yes. So Cre Christi Christianity is a religion that was made up by man. If you're a Christian, that just means you follow Christ. But Christ is about to talk to the man. If we follow Christ, he's so going to it's like he was a Christian? No. He's a Christian? No, because he, he, he follows himself. A Christian follows How Christ. How can he follow himself? He follows his father. Let's read this real quick. You ask Christ, what? Hebrews 7 and 14. What's that? Hebrews 7 and 14. What he For it is evident uh -huh. that our Lord sprang out of the, out of Judah. Christ came out of the tribe of Judah, the fourth tribe out of Israel. That's what he was. He was a Jew. I, I know all that. So he was, when it comes to religion, he didn't have one. That's why he kept the command of God. I know. But then he was the only begotten son yes, he that came down here to earth. Of course. Yeah, my brother catching that. Of course. Okay. Of course. <laughs> no doubt. That's true. But okay. But see, I know. I know a lot about the Bible. I was just wondering what y'all follow. You follow. Come out here. You follow the commandments of God and faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, but he was a Christian. No. It no, says in no, the no, Bible. No. It's not mentioned if you can pull chapter and verse, you get a hundred dollars right now. I'm you can show. Leave that alone. Okay. okay. Please listen to me. Please ask twelve. Read that verse. I'm not going to read that alone. Twelve word. Thirteen to fourteen. Check this out. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. What say, he said, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is the conclusion of everything. Come on. Fear oh, God and keep his commandments. Fear God and what? And keep his commandments. You know the Why? Command? I'm going to ask you this. You know Why did Jesus Christ come down? Let's read that. No, 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 no. Now okay. we're going to read. We don't, okay. we don't give our own opinion. Okay. We're going to read. He, he, come, he can't he even be sacrificed. Why so, was he sacrificed? Just feel the blood so we can get back to God. That's fine. No doubt. But you gotta keep it. Now you know that you gotta keep the command. Oh, okay. But you gotta keep the command. We can talk about rules, Negroes get nervous. Read that, brother. Read that. What's the name the commandment, sister? <laughs> Go ahead, please. Yes, read that, brother. Read that. Spirits get rattled, we're pulling this Bible out. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Uh -huh. Read that, brother. Let's go. 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 let us go the conclusion of the whole matter. This is the whole matter. Come on. Fear the most high. Uh-huh. 
and keep his commandments. For God and keep his commandments. Come on. For this is the whole duty of man. That's the reason you was created. That's your whole duty as a man. Right. For your God, your power, and keep it short. Come on, brother. Yes, you can. Verse 14. Uh -huh. For the most high shall bring every work into judgment. The Lord's going to bring every work into judgment. You ain't got away with nothing. Come on, Israel. With every secret thing. Yeah. Whether it be good. Whether it be good. Come on. Or whether it be evil. So you ain't got away with nothing. Right. God gonna bring every work into judgment. Right. Whether you be whether you been good or evil, you want it's gonna be brought into judgment. So a judge judges off laws. You hear me? So in judgment day is about you violating the law of God and you ain't even repented for that. Right. Jesus Christ talks of commandments. He ain't trying to teach a vain philosophy like Christianity and uh, Easter egg hunting and going to church on Sundays. He ain't teach that. That's a false philosophy. You got some, bro? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These is, this is red letter. All praises to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All praises to And his only begotten son, yes, the Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ. Revelations 22, 12. Yes, sir. Red letter in Christ's words. Come on. And behold, I come quickly. Now nah, I'm taking my time. And behold, I come quickly. Come on. And my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. To give every man according as his work shall be. Huh? Preacher, tell you ain't about works. Yes, it is. Red letter again. Come on, brother. In Christ's words. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Come on. I am Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Say it again one more time. Blessed are they that do his commandments. We got to know right. the commandments then. Revelations 22, 12, red letter. We read it in Ecclesiastes. The whole duty of man is to fear God and keep his commandments. That's in the beginning of the book. Now he at the end of the book. New Testament. New Testament. Last chapter of the book. Last chapter. And the Lord say, blessed are they that do his commandments. Who is a liar? Blessed are they. So when we say, sister, did you know the commandments? She walked down the street. You can believe the whole story all you want. That's good. You're supposed to believe. That's the faith. Okay, where's, okay. where's your work? Okay, let me finish that. Come on, brother. Verse 14 again. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, yeah. and may enter in through the gates into the city. Uh -huh. For without are dogs and sorcerers uh -huh. and whoremongers and murderers yeah. and idolaters, and whoso loveth and maketh a lie. That's who's not getting in. And all those are lawbreakers. When it say right. dog, it don't mean vital, it mean an immoral man. Somebody that got a defiled conscience. When it as pertaining to the word of God. So he say those that do the commandments get right to the tree of life, meaning the commandments lead to immortality. Yes, it does. The tree of life is something Adam and Eve didn't get because they broke the commandment. He kicked them out the garden. Yes, he did. Now we going back to the beginning. Now you get get to be a partaker of that tree of life, but you got to be keeping the commandment through if, and faith of His Son. If you through faith with the shed blood of His Son, if you don't know Him, just open up your book to Exodus 20. It's that simple. Deuteronomy 5, and it'll blow your mind how many people don't even know the Ten Commandments, but know their favorite song, still know how to ride a bike, say the Pledge of Allegiance, you know your ABCs, all that. You and Mrs. Jones got a thing going on. You still know about that? What up? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the commandment. That has right for this precept. Go ahead, brother. Where you at? You go to uh, Holland and Reef. First Kings. First Kings. Uh -huh. Chapter two. Verse one. What it say, Israel? Now the days of David dry night that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son saying. This is what King David told Solomon his son. On his deathbed, what he say, brother? I go the way of all the earth. Uh -huh. Be thy strong, therefore, and show thyself. Amen. First instruction, he told Solomon, boy, man up. Be a man out here. Be strong. All right, not weak, strong. Come on, brother. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Keep the charge for the commandments of the Lord your God. That's your duty. If you know your ABCs and your favorite 
can't name the Ten Commandments in order. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Baby. Because we just read that that's how you get immortality. You get the tree of life. Blessed are they that do the commandments. That was a right. revelation. Come on, brother, let's get it. To walk in his way. Yeah. To keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. So he told, he told Solomon's son, keep the commandments. I'm going to die, man up, keep the charge of your Lord and your protection. You'll be prosperous. See, people get mad when we talk about the rules of God. God got rules. It's more than right. saying, I love the Lord. Right. It is rules in it. It's rules to everything. You go to work, there's rules. Be here at 7 o'clock. You there at 659, teeth brushed, face wiped off. But when it comes down to doing the work of the Lord and keeping the charge of the Lord, now nah, everybody get everybody get nervous. Oh, no, I, I believe, brother, but can't nobody do that. What you mean can't nobody do that? The love of God is what? Let's grab it. Second John, real quick. Second John, verse six. What's the love of God according to the Bible? Your love could be flowers. His love could be Valentine's Day. But what is love according to the Bible? That's what we all need to know. What Second say, John, chapter six. I mean, Second John, verse six. What is say, brother? And this is love. And this is love right here. Come on. That we walk after his commandments. See? <laughs> this is the commandment that as you have heard from the beginning. From where? From the beginning. It's Genesis. Beginning. Come on. You should walk in it. You should walk in it. That's what we suppose. That's the love of God. So I love my brother by not lying to him, by not stealing from him, by not trying to label this woman. I love God by serving God. I he saved worship him. That's what it comes down to. Start starting with Sabbath day. Sabbath day is the day. It ain't tomorrow. It's today. The seventh day of the week is today. But why do Christian institutions teach against that? Hmm. And why do they keep that day as the, as the Lord's day? It does make a difference. Yes, it does. It was established as the Sabbath before we even came into existence. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So it don't have no religious affiliation at all. That's right. And no such thing as religion. Right. That's a fallacy. That's what keeps you sidetracked. The religion is what keeps you sidetracked. Check out because they don't go by this. Check out this Matthew 5. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Christ's Sermon on the Mount. Trip out that. Did he teach religion or commandments? Let's get it. Think not that I am come to destroy the law mm. or the prophets. Christ said, don't even put that on me. I ain't come to do away with the Old Testament. I ain't come to do away with the law or the prophets. Come on, brother. I am not come to destroy, uh -huh. but to fulfill. I'm to fulfill what you've been reading about. Come on. For verily I say unto you, uh -huh. till heaven and earth pass. Till what? Till heaven and earth pass. Well, earth is still here, yeah. and the heavens are still there. That's right. So until heaven and earth pass. Come on. One job. Or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law uh -huh. till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled. The Lord ain't returned yet. Mm. He ain't returned yet. Oh, ain't been fulfilled. Israel ain't been gathered back home yet. Us. The slaves have not been redeemed out of slavery yet. And put back up as the kings and queens in the earth. That's right. That's prophecy. That's prophecy. That ain't happened till all be fulfilled. So the commandments still stay. They still stay. Right. But somebody tell you, you don't have to do that, silly. All you got to do is just believe. It's all about faith. faith the is, Sabbath day change. Faith, faith is major. It's very important. But your faith without works is dead. That's right. Woo. Faith without works is dead. You can believe all you want, but don't have the works to back it up. It don't mean nothing. I can say I love the Lord. Turn around and kill my brother. What that mean? Peace that word, brother. All right, sister. What does that mean? It don't mean nothing. Love is an action. It's not words. Action. Come on, brother. Let's get it. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments uh -huh. and shall teach men so. And you teaching men so. You saying it's okay. Come on, brother. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. So if you run around talking about we ain't under the commandments, you ain't got to do that. Just believe you're not even getting into the kingdom of heaven. Right. You're not even getting in. Come on, brother. But whosoever shall do and teach them. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So who's ever doing these commandments and teaching them? You'll be called great. Great job, sir. And that's what we all waiting to hear. Job well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over that which was little. Come on in. I got something for you. I got something for you. So we can't be in the vibration of teaching against the commandments of the Most High. Let's teach and can't nobody even look at any commandment of God tell you what's wrong with it. 
You can't go through none of them commandments and say, see, that's wrong right there. See, God was going off and tripping right there. You know that you don't got that. Because the gospel of Christ is the, the lack of the gospel of Christ is the reason why all kingdoms fall. They don't got the gospel. That's why they fall and crumble. That's why this one don't crumble. It's already crumbling. Straight. Why we thinking we got forever just to do whatever we want? The Lord on his way. He on his way. If you ain't paying attention, it's gonna be a snare to you. It's gonna be took it's gonna be like an untimely birth. Straight. Alright, well, uh, what, what we at? What you done with that? Yeah, we're done with that. That's right, first Corinthians 9. That we had we we we're going to Hebrews 8 showing the law being the spirit. Mm -hmm. Putting it in your spirit. Go to 1 Corinthians 9 and 21 real quick. Mm. 1 Corinthians 9 and 21. Because that's that's the difference. We're under the law of Christ now. Order Michael's a deck. You put on Christ. A lot of brothers are, are, are talk noise because they claim you ain't got fringes on, but don't none of these brothers wear fringes 24-7. You know these brothers, that same brother got his go on, but I don't got on the same clothes you got on underneath his Up uh, under that. Got on drawers made in China. <laughs> anyway, come on now, that's what I'm saying. You are in captivity. If you got it to no doubt, if you got it to make your own clothes and do all that, then do that. But how is you looking outwardly and judging outwardly? When the law is spiritual. And when Abraham was justified inwardly before he ever made a covenant outward. Uh, come on. We talking about the order of Michael's deck, man. A, a spiritual higher conscious law, priesthood, man. Right. Not outwardly. You can't look at brother and say, well, brother, you ain't got on fringes. And I tell you, look hard. You don't even know because the fringe, for me, you want to see something hanging off my belt loop? There it go right there. <laughs> but that's for me. It ain't for you. I don't somewhere with that madness, man. Anyway, let's get this, brother. First Corinthians 9. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 21. Let me say this, too. None of that was ever the problem. We got us thrown out of the line. That wasn't it. Our problem was having a wicked mind and bowing our knees to other gods. It now, wasn't the name. Now we had the name, the ancient Hebrew. We had the dress code. It down. wasn't the name. We had all that. It stuff. wasn't the clothes. Nuh-uh. All them brothers were saying all that in Christ's crucifixion. That's right. The Pharisees and them had a lot of reason for all that on. That yes. was never the problem. The problem was what? We had a wicked mindset to yep. appeal against the Lord our Father. Yep. That's the problem. That's the problem. You just gotta explain how Abraham was justified before he ever did any type of covenant out. How right. was he justified? How was he justified? They called a friend of the most high. And piled to Mikhail's deck and he broke off a template of increase of the spoils of war. Way before Leviticus increasing. Way before that. See, Adam all Adam, Abraham all the way up to we came up out of Egypt. We were under the Lord of Mikhail's deck. <laughs> so as it was in the be as it is in the beginning, so shall it be. That's what we're going back to. Into which you're not gonna be able to manipulate that and tell that brother I ain't steal from you. Right. So the Lord gonna judge you if you've been thinking about stealing from you, brother. Yeah. Or lying to him. Yeah. I just get this brother. First Corinthians chapter 9. Verse 21. To them that are without law. As without law. Uh-huh. Being not without law. 